Then Nicole hasn't three. gotten her eyebrows done in two months. <laughs> Got her. Welcome to Mythical Kitchen, where Lily becomes the fiercest food fighter the world has ever seen. That's pretty fierce. All right, so Nicole and V have been dominating the food battle conversation around here. They wiped the floor with Trevor and I and Burger and Queso, but then we brought in Lily, the ringer, the only person who has real restaurant experience and all this, and we smoked them in pizza. That's why we kicked Trevor out of the band and now Lily's in. They're gonna be losers again today. I love it. Talk more <laughs> smack, Lily. Get them. You guys <laughs> suck. No, okay, yeah, dial it back. Okay, it's still sorry. a place of work. I'm Thank sorry. you so much. Uh, today, we are taking on Battle Hot Dog. Who can make the best, most decadent loaded hot dog? And hey, speaking of hot dogs, check out me and Nicole's new podcast series. It is officially out now wherever you get your podcasts. We are trying to finally end the debate once and for all on whether or not a hot dog is a sandwich. We have talked to a historian, a philosopher, a lawyer, a business person, and finally, we are taking the debate to the people, to the streets, to finally come up with an answer. But wait, there's more on July 31st. We are taking the winning hot dog from this episode and we are going to be selling it to you, the people, at Smorgasburg, Los Angeles. It is an open air market in Los Angeles. Come out. You can also debate Nicole and I live on whether or not a hot dog is a sandwich. Eat some tasty hot dogs. We're selling t shirts out there. We're partnering with No Kid Hungry. It's for a good cause. We got an awesome hot dog vendor partner. Shout out Gerardo Pacheco from Dog R. It's going to be an awesome time. Please come out. Come see our dogs. Come see our dog. There's no real dogs, but that was a discussion. <laughs> All right, you want to get cooking? Yeah, let's do it. Let's smoke their A double hockey sticks. Behold the pizza cock. <laughs> you can buy <laughs> this. Okay. Well, you need to calm down. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm excited about the new aprons. <laughs> we got some new aprons. You can buy them at mythical.com. Hell of a plug, Lily. You crushed that, dude. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nailed it. Lily's first merch plug. You're gonna do thousands more and it's gonna suck the venom from your soul. <laughs> right now, we're making a quesabiria hot dog. Yes, yum. Quesabiria, one of the best foods out there. We made this for GMM Willet Hot Dog and we had planned this episode before we did Willet Hot Dog and then we tasted that hot dog and then we were like, we gotta make this. It was so good. Yeah, this is just one of the best things ever. Uh, you wanna get started on the adobo? Yes. Cool, so all birria starts with an adobo. Birria is a traditional dish typically made with goat from Guadalajara, Jalisco. Uh, but in LA, especially birria de res, beef birria is really what has sort of popped off because it's kind of easier to get than goat. Lily, how do you feel about goat? I've never had goat, but what? I really want to try it. Oh, dude, there's a great, there. I know a guy that he'll just give you a whole goat in a trash bag. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know no, if that's this sanitary. Is, I'm dead ass serious. I no, it's great. I think you need new friends. The legs Josh. stick out of the trash bag too and you just kind of put it in your trunk and figure it out. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take the beef chuck and I'm gonna salt it. I always like adding salt directly to my meat instead of adding it to a marinade because like, if you cook a lot, you know how much salt to add directly to meat. So we're just gonna do that. I'm gonna heat this pan up because we're gonna be simmering this for a while. Here, I'll get, I'll get some garlic. I'm getting the garlic. I'm gonna get bay leaves in there. That's looking nice. There you go. Yeah, that cinnamon stick's really gonna add a lot. Lily, about how many hot dogs do you average per week? Um, that I eat? Yeah. Um, you know, like, 20, 20 hot dogs. Oh, eating 20 hot dogs for me. <laughs> How many do you think you could actually eat in 12 minutes? I, look, like I know the stereotype is Asians can, you know, eat a lot of hot dogs. Okay, but... there was like one, well, okay, there's one, yeah, okay, there's like, there's only like four that are really good at it. You know what I mean? I just can't. I don't think I could eat. I, I want to enjoy my hot dog. I'm going to be the the guy at the hot dog eating competition, just enjoying putting my condiments on. I'm not slurping it down. Does anybody have water. any relish? Excuse me, yeah, sir. That is the weirdest stereotype, though, that I never thought about. How does that affect your life on the day-to-day -day basis, Lily? Uh, you know. You go to Costco and get a hot dog and people are staring? Yeah, 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 yeah. Brutal. Don't stare at anyone eating hot dogs, regardless of race. This has been a public service announcement from Josh. Oh, and Lily. <laughs> so smooth. All right, so we're gonna add the rest of the adobo. We're just gonna come get this up to a simmer, and then we don't even need any additional liquid in there because the beef's gonna release so much juice, and we're gonna pop a top on this and cover it, and we're just gonna bring it up to a simmer. Oh, wait, dude. Oh, man, it smells like a winner. Already done, yeah. already done. Oh, yeah. there was like cloves and cumin and stuff. We didn't say that. We got caught up in the merch plug. Yeah, it's gonna burn. Nailed it. We're gonna cover that and let it simmer. So we've got the beer to get nice and shreddy. Look at Ooh, that. That looks 
super tender. Sopping wet. That's exciting. Um, okay, so we need to make a, a condiment. Well, we don't need to, but I think it's going to be really dang. We're going to make like a cilantro, a jalapeno, onion, mustard. Go. Right, I will have uh, at it. Yeah, yeah, do it, do it, do it. Uh, ain't, no, ain't nothing to it but to do. I'm going to start grilling off some dogs. We're just going to go raw griddle on here. We should have deep fried and done a ripper dog. You ever heard of that? No, I've never heard of that before. New Jersey, man. What won't they do? I'm going to start griddling off the birria right here. I want to get it like nice and griddly, and then I'm going to add the cheese. I'm going to try and flip. You'll see. It's gonna be kind of brutal. Um, also, we actually have to do this in person when we're serving people this at Smorgasburg because we're gonna win. Yeah, exactly. So I put mustard, onions. What are these? Pepperoncinis? No, pickled jalapenos. Pickled jalapenos. <laughs> um, some fresh cilantro and a squeeze of lime. Why am I pussyfooting around? You gotta do it. All right. I'm just gonna get. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna add some more juice to it. Cause like my thought on why this is gonna be a successful hot dog. Uh, chili dogs rule. Uh, birria is like a better form of chili, um, and so I think this is just gonna be awesome. Yeah, uh, one second, pause. There it is. Extra juice going down. We're gonna get the juice, because you want the bread to toast in the juice. All right, there we go. And now I'm gonna put the cheese on top of that so it melts. And then we're gonna eventually nestle the hot dog in that. And then we're gonna flip it on the button. Do you think oh this is gonna work? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. There we go, hot dogs. Yeah, getting some nice color on them. How's that mustard looking? You know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't have, I, I, didn't, I didn't know what we were doing with this mustard. We've never made it before. This is gonna be the wettest hot dog anyone's ever had, and I think that's what we're going for. Are we? I don't know if I want a what wet, mean? I mean. What do you mean you don't know if you want a wet hot dog? I just don't like the Come sound on. of that. It's like a French dip, but I call it the doggy dipper. Yeah. Hey, you wanna taste that? What do you yes. think it tastes like? Mustard. Astute observation from Michelin starred chef Lily Cousins. It tastes like mustard. Oh my God, is that mustard? No, it's ketchup. This is how I'm thinking this goes down. Okay. Can I try right? one? Can I try one and you yeah, try one? Yeah, yeah, Okay, I wanna do a flip. What do you mean? Well, Are you gonna patient. flip Be it? Be patient, yeah, okay, can you just calm okay. down for once? Like, you're, 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 you're acting crazy, you're manic, okay? Like, I, I, I'm the pinnacle of calm. Well, cause I like to let the bun steam. Okay. But then I kinda wanna like. Just get it just even bit, more wet. Just a little bit. <laughs> it's like a, uh, it's like a, what are, the, what are the witch circles that they do? Um, Maggie, you're a witch. What? I think this is ready. Flip. Wow. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Extra juice. Cause why, Lily? Because it's wet, <laughs> and we like wet hot dogs. Yeah, I thought it had a better ring to it, but all right, you go, you go, you go. Watch your hands, watch your hands. That hot dog's looking real black, guys. Yeah, it looks cool. amazing. Oh, did you guys forget that that was like a thing where while we cook, you like heckle us, and now you did it while we're done? You're ugly. Oh wait. <laughs> Nicole hasn't gotten her eyebrows done in two months. <laughs> Got her. No, you gotta nestle it next to it. Nestle next to it. Nestle next. Nestle next. Next to it. My arms aren't long enough. Well, they get longer arms. Okay, I can't eat excuses. You're better than me. Put some in the in the there, and put some. Ooh, I'm gonna eat the scrapies. Yeah. I mean, this looks amazing. Yeah, I know the stuff on the edge of the spatula. Oh. That's our hot dog. <laughs> we made it. Are you happy? Lily, do give it a, give him a good out. I'm gonna eat the scrapes. Um, this is our hot dog, and that's my out. <laughs> Look at my cool earrings. They're hot dogs because Ooh. we're in a hot dog battle. You, you know how to do the hot dog? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that was great. Yeah, that was yeah. great. So we're gonna be making a Reuben hot dog. Exactly. Do you hear something? Uh, no. I don't either. I really don't. I think it's a Taylor Swift lookalike with shaped eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, we're making Reuben hot dogs. Do you yes. like a good Reuben sandwich? I do. I haven't had one in a long time. Yeah. And it was the first time I actually liked sauerkraut. So. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, you're not a pickle girl. No, I don't but like But you're pickles. a sauerkraut lady. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's Damn awesome. right. <laughs> so we're going to be making our own pastrami, which is quite a feat, but uh, there's nothing we can't do in the mythical kitchen. Exactly. Yeah. Especially beat those two bozos. Over yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Forget Bozos. them. They're not even the same height. Yeah, I know. There's such a difference. It's yeah. crazy. Right? Uh, so yeah. I'm just taking some some wet wood chips and I'm kind of uh, letting them start to smoke and kind of dry it a little bit. Okay. And then we have a corned beef here. Um, we use our Jutine corned beef recipe, which you can actually mm -hmm. click on the link and see. It's an awesome recipe, one of my favorite recipes we've ever done in the Mythical Kitchen. Um, so we're just taking that corned beef and we're just going to rub a little bit. Okay. Um, rub on it. What are you going to start doing, Miss V? Um, I have this beautiful ween right here. <laughs> And I'm gonna basically <laughs> hollow it out with this chopstick right and on. add some cheese in it. 
I'm gonna stuff a wiener. We're doing Swiss cheese stuffed wieners because yeah. that's what wieners do. Exactly. <laughs> so exciting. I'm a big hot dog fan, you know? I'm happy that we're gonna be slinging dogs. Yeah. I mean, wow, you've done this before, haven't you? Um, yeah. <laughs> I made little foil balls just to kind of prop up our fantastic Ugh. corned beef. Just prop it up like this. This will nice. get you buff. Yeah, you're doing really good Ugh. at that, man. I couldn't do that to save my life. Isn't that pretty? You're gonna take a crap ton of foil. You're gonna tend this bad boy kind of tightly. That wiener looks like it needs a shot of penicillin. Hey, I don't, he, well, you know, there's doctors around. What if, what if the wiener's allergic to penicillin? Yeah. Huh? Like yeah. me, I have an allergy to penicillin. I get a rash. Yeah. We have our beautiful dressing that we're making. Oh, so we have yeah. some mayo. Go for it. And then we have pickle juice. Mm -hmm. Some relish. Nice. Yeah. Stunning. Okay, and then we, what is this? Lemon juice. Nice. And then some horseradish. Very, very good. I love horseradish. I like, uh, so strong. it's like hit or miss for me. I love I'm how not. strong it is. It literally slaps you in the face. It's one of my favorite flavors. You go ahead and mix that up. Whoa. I'm gonna throw this in a 250 degree oven for a long time, a few hours I'd say. Maybe like six hours. Oh, that's just yeah. good time enough to We're take a nap. Let this go for a little bit. You know, cook down, get nice and sexy, get nice and smoky, slice it up, put it on a hot dog. V, look at that. That's wow. a big old hunk of meat, I'd That's say. A big old brown I know, thing. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, wow, it's so big in color. She's pink. That's gorgeous. Oh. oh my God. Give me some of that. Here, you just give me a little nibble. Here you go. A little bit of nibble. You got a little bit of nibble. Mmm. How did oh we do? My. I'm proud of you, man. Look at you. I'm fucking loving you. V, get those hot dogs. Oh, I'm ready. My friend. Oil my my thing thing. Yeah, 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 I like that. I don't know what that was, but I liked it. <laughs> I was initially thinking we do thin, like, stripes uh -huh. of meat, but no, I think we do nice. Oh, you're gonna do some nice chunk of hungus? Let's do some thick boys. Let's do some dices. Let's do, let's let's do, do some, some dices. Let's make some hungus. Okay. I like a thick, big hot dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like when it's, like, loaded and it gets all over yeah. my face. I like a big hot dog, man. I like, for example, like Costco hot dogs. Like that's my jam. Oh you know what I gosh. mean? Oh my gosh! Like Those this, things. like that's the inspiration yeah. for this. You know, big ass hot dogs. Yeah, ass dogs. So I'm just gonna them. let this hang out, man. I'm just gonna let this cook up. Yeah. Do yeah. one of these. Like I might. <laughs> is, is, is that how? It, is that how? It goes? I don't know. I've never done this before. That's yeah, that's like kind of like Philly cheese style. Oh yeah. 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 Oh my god, we should have done a Philly cheese steak hot dog. Well, I know, but everybody does that though. Really? I've never seen it anywhere before. Damn, I just had one at Pink's. Oh yeah, and we're Pink's better than Pink's. We're better than Pink's. We're brown. People don't know about summer color. No, they don't. I did autumn. Y'all yeah. remember how pasty I was? Yeah. I look like the guy with no eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard from the brows. <laughs> the only thing you can't say. Big wieners are cool. They're both full. <laughs> Whoever okay. the hell said that? So, yeah, <laughs> back in like the 16th century when it was the, they, were do, they were doing the David sculpture. Yeah. I know all about that. Not the David sculpture. Yeah, you so, know that because of No, I knew that before you. I'm smart no, before don't you. Don't acknowledge him. Don't okay. acknowledge him. Sorry, He's not sorry. even there. He honestly really grinds my gears sometimes, yeah, no, man. Uh, okay. Yeah, Holy shnikes, wait, that's wait, a lot of meat. We gotta make that look a little prettier. We're though. gonna make it look prettier. Don't yeah, worry yeah. about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's do the other one. Okay. Do the other one. You do it. You do it. Okay. You do it and I'll dress the other one. What are you doing? Nestle! <laughs> I'm gonna put this down first. Put it down. And put then down. I'm gonna stuff it. Put it down, put it down. Cause that yeah, just that's makes more idea. sense. That's a good idea. This yeah, is a this three hander. You need a friend to help you eat this. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And then yeah, just yeah. a beautiful the crown goodies. of sauerkraut. And there you have it, baby! That's a Reuben, Reuben dog. dog! You're going down, queso beer. Yeah. That's very nice! Queso who? See, look, all you gotta do is just, it just kind of turns yeah. around, you know? You just gotta do the hot dog when they talk to you. Jordan, there are two hot dogs before you. Do you agree? Yes. You are an impartial judge. Do you agree? Yeah. Lily and I are easily the better looking chef duo. Do you agree? Shut oh, up. No. There's no I know. Listen, I think you're so beautiful. Thank you. But I'm a lesbian and there's <laughs> yes! two women over here and there's one woman over here and jock. Yes. You're That's killing the lesbian yes. jock alliance. Anyways, there are extra stakes to today's battle. Jordan, the winner of this will go on to actually be featured at Smorgasburg and we're gonna sell it to the fine folks. I, I, I'm so honored to be doing this. All right, uh, V, present your losing dish. Oh, excuse me. Okay, beautiful Auntie Jordan, hello. Meet the Uncle Reuben dog. 
We have a hot dog stuffed with beautiful Swiss cheese in a bun. You know about buns, right? I do. Okay, great. It has a beautiful dressing over it with some homemade pastrami and some horseradish. Gross. Yum. Also, there's sauerkraut. Oh, no, dude, that looks pretty good. Yum, so much oh, cheese. I love cheese. Do I eat this one first? Please enjoy. Okay, great. Someone hold my hair. Because <laughs> that's what sorority girls do. That's what friends do. Shape that so well. This is getting weird. <laughs> I like it. Not like that. Just wow, very juicy. The sauerkraut is not overpowering at all. Yeah, like delicious. Taste. I love. And on your right, we have the quesabiria dog. Of course. This is a Hebrew national hot dog, 100% beef, uh, with so Monterey nice. Jack cheese. Uh, birria de res on top, a little bit of cilantro and jalapeno mustard, cilantro and onion, dress it with lime, and then dip it in the consomme. We've also griddled the bun in some of that consomme and yeah. red-tinged fat. Wow, okay, that sounds great. I love lime, so I'm gonna do some lime. Let's get my dunk on. Um, Josh, hold my hair. Okay, I don't, this is, I normally don't touch. I mean, you don't women. have to if you don't want you to. You said it He's and so no one I'm, I'm It's okay. I'm I, not gonna tell HR you held my hair when I asked you to. Ellen, don't, she, she said. She didn't say pull, she said hold. I didn't pull. Mmm. It tastes like pasole. Wow. Mmm. Okay. Lily, you so take her meaty. hair off. It's, it's weirded me out. I'll switch lots. I'll switch lots. Okay, up. this is counting against you, Josh. Remember I'm that. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I have a thing with human contact. <laughs> It's very good. It's so juicy. I love all my food to be wet. This is gonna be the wettest hot dog anyone's ever had. And I think that's what we're going for. First of all, I wanna say they're both delicious. They're both incredible hot dogs. I would eat 50 to 100 of either one of them at an outdoor sporting event. Like they're absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. um, you but I- You got on your lip. Do I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wipe the a disgust little, off. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. Little okay, bit good. Now yeah, you're yeah. great. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right. I think I'm ready. Do it. Oh, do it. Stop pussyfooting around. I don't know. I'm gonna be around. Yeah. Okay. okay. I have to say, in my opinion, what is truly the better hot dog, especially for an outdoor event like Smorgasburg, is. Unfortunately, I have to go with Lily. Yes, I'm sorry. That's, wait, they hugged me. I'm sorry. I'm so that's sorry. Okay. And I don't want it to be like this. Crazy. And this, this is delicious. I don't know. This is so delicious. delicious. Yes, I understand. My only thought process is that this is a little messy to be uh, eating outside. Okay. Sure. If okay. I was like, I would eat this like at a table. Yeah. Smorgasburg doesn't have a lot of tables. A lot of times you're sitting in the grass. It's a little uh, messy. They have very, they have very good accommodations and amenities. Come out. Yes, if it wasn't for Smorgasburg, you guys would have taken it home because I think okay. it's an incredible hot dog, but for the event at hand, I also think Smorgasburg loves like a fusion thing. Mm -hmm. So the fact that this is hot dog plus Bedia, I think this one for this specific event is a better fit, but I love both. And I honestly love all four of you. Aww, I really do. I really do. Enjoy working with you. Uh, to be fair, uh -huh. you're, I'm gonna report HR for this, the way you're being now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what, hey, right. Nicole, one, Jordan, thank you so much uh, for, for being an impartial judge here. Well, you were an incredibly partial judge, but you still picked us, so that's I cool. Know. I like that even better. Uh, but Nicole and V, we're feeling charitable today, though. Oh. So we're gonna sell this to Smorgasburg, too. Come Woo! down, get that awesome. We're partnering with an incredible Venezuelan hot dog vendor. Shout out to Gerardo Pacheco of Dog R. He's been selling some Venezuelan hot dogs. Proceeds going to No Kid Hungry. Uh, it's gonna be really fitting. You gonna be there? Uh, am I invited? Yeah, course, I'll be there. Yeah. yeah, I got. It. I'm gonna be just rip spit off of micheladas. I'm telling you what. <laughs> um, really, Jordan, thank you. Thank Valiant you. effort, you two. And thank you all so much for watching Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes out every week, wherever you get your episodes. We got new episodes of our podcast, The Hot Dogs and Sandwich, including our special series, finally, finally ending the debate of is a hot dog a sandwich? Uh, hit us up on TikTok and Instagram, at Mythical Kitchen, pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag dreams come food. Make sure to go out Smorgasburg, that's July 31st. Eat these delicious hot dogs and come debate Nicole and I live. We are not holding back. No! Damn. Yeah. Fierce, dude. When she gets a hot dog in her mouth, she gets fierce. You put meat in my pocket. Yeah. Yeah, pocket meat. She so does rude. that. She does that. Yeah. It's called put pocketing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> a new mythical kitchen creature approaches. The pizza cock is here and available on a brand new apron. Come face to face with the mythical kitchen pizza cock apron now at mythical.com.